for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, present challenge and outcome. So Scorpio, we start with the recent past. We have the Hermit card. Now with this card, it's possible that romance from your past was being rekindled. Is that what you really wanted? That would have been the question that you asked yourself at that time. Uh, because it seems that romantic relationships, they're not currently a priority for you at this time or at that time in the past. So if your head says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, take a look at your behavior. Does it or did it align with the analysis or with that analysis at that time? Because in a committed relationship, you could have been moving in different directions for a while if that's what you were in. So you needed to make sure to make the time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. Once again, that's if you were already in a relationship. And this card is paired with a Three of Cups. Now, although this card can mean a reunion with a lost love, it does not always indicate that. You have to take a look carefully at the rest of the reading. And then you'll be able to decide whether that interpretation fits. So if you are single or if you were single in the past, the most likely interpretation was that you could have, or yeah, you could have met a likely love soon or it didn't take long for you to meet someone special, someone who really fits the bill. They were what you were looking for at that time, okay, and... This person would have been your new love, not someone that you used to be with. It would have been a new lover that you met at this time in the past, and it was not someone that you re reunited with. And that's the recent past. Now we move on to the present, the King of Pentacles. Now the, t the King of Pentacles... As you can see in the picture, um, it's showing that it's a great time regards to love, romance. Uh, someone could be coming along to sweep you off your feet. Yes, so try to put your best foot forward. Don't pretend to be someone that you're not because this person... They're going to love you exactly for who you are. What you need to do is to be honest and everything should fall into place. And if you're currently involved already with someone, the relationship could very well move to a more comfortable place. Now, if you're dissatisfied, you need to say so to your partner for things to change. Communication will be the key. Don't expect your lover to read your mind. And this card, King of Pentacles, is paired with the Five of Pentacles. Now, this is not a particularly happy indicator when it comes to questions regarding romance love. Now, you could have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you the way they should. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person completely. Now this card can very much be a card about feeling left out in the cold. It's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. Because when love is right, 
You don't have to do backflips to make it work. So you, you have to broaden your horizons and try very hard to think positively because you are a very lovable person. So with these two cards paired together, the King of Pentacles, it's basically letting you know that someone could be coming along or someone that you know to sweep you off your feet. So you need to put your best foot forward. And it's paired with the Five of Pentacles. Now, once again, this is a very happy time for love, okay? You could have your eyes on someone. Let me, let me uh, restate that. It's not a particularly happy time for love. Yeah, because as you, as you can see in the picture, she looks like she's trying to get away. The Five of Pentacles, yeah, she's trying to get away. So it's not a happy time for love. So, um, the King of Pentacles, someone could be coming along to sweep you off your feet. Okay, the Five of Pentacles, not a happy time for love. Because they may, they may not be feeling or treating you the way that you think they should. You may, so, the person that you're with, they could be mistreating you. So you need to stop fantasizing about them. Because it looks like you have someone that's better for you that could be trying to sweep you off your feet. And this person will love you for exactly who you are with the King of Pentacles. Okay, because the person that you're with, they could be making you feel like you're left out in the cold. That's what the card is showing. If you can see the picture, it clearly states that. That's in the Five of Pentacles. It looks like you're trying to get away. Okay. All right, so that's in your present. So just keep in mind that you got the King of Pentacles on your side. Uh, someone uh, is, is actually wanting to sweep you off your feet. They could be on the way or someone you know or it's just right around the corner. And you just need to put your best foot forward because this person is going to love you for exactly who you are. So, so that's going to be the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the death card. So just remember the death card is not about an actual death. It's about transformation. Deep, deep transformation. So there's no reason to become alarmed when you see this card. Okay, and when it comes to love with a death card, if you're clinging to a relationship that you are deeply unhappy in because you don't want to let go of something familiar or because you hate to be alone, just remember you're not doing yourself a favor and you're not doing your partner any favors. So have a deep, frank, honest conversation about the problems in the relationships and then if they won't change or you won't change then perhaps it's time to let it go because not all relationships are fixable but you definitely have to try and this card is paired with the seven of pentacles now with regards to love the seven of pentacles it points to things going well for the person that you have your your heart set on or it could be you okay and if you are not in a committed relationship you need to be open to other possibilities just remember none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep soulful happy relationship so don't give in to feelings of suspicion and fear and with these two cards paired together, the death card is just letting you know that you need to work on your relationship. Um, you could be clinging to an unhealthy situation or they to you. Work on it and if it doesn't change, it's just time to move on 
and it's paired with the Seven of Pentacles, which points to things going well for you or the other person. So if you decide to move on, uh, it should be okay. It'll be all good. Um, it's probably for the better. And um, things will work out for you. You just have to stay positive. And if you're not in a committed relationship, uh, you need to be open to other possibilities because there's other options out there for you. Um, just remain positive and don't give in to feelings of suspicion or fear and then all will be well. And that's going to be the challenge. And so we move on to the outcome. We have the magician. Now, with the magician, if you're in the market for a new romance, the time when you're likely to meet someone is probably now. Yeah, because with the magician card, uh, he makes everything happen. You know, he works like magic. Right now, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. So whether they find you or not, it's going to depend on you. you. Make sure you're not sitting at home expecting someone to knock at your door because that more than likely won't happen. So you need to be out there making yourself available to be found and this is a great time to do that. So get out there and meet people. And this card is paired with the Six of Cups. Now if you're already in a relationship, it can indicate that a relationship may need to be refocused. Refocus it towards the future. Talk about your goals and dreams. Try new things. It's important now not to be stuck in the, in the past. So on occasions, this card, it'll signify the reappearance of a past love in your life. So think long and hard before restarting an old romance because we all know exes, they're usually exes for a reason. And with these two cards paired together, the magician card is letting you know now's a great time. You can make it happen. You can make anything happen with a magician card. Okay, uh, the time is now. Just just do it because it will turn out positive. Um, right now, there's someone out there looking for you just as you're looking for them. But you have to be out there to find them. And it's paired with the Six of Cups. Um, if you're in a relationship already, just refocus it. Uh, refocus the goals and the dreams that you two have. You two need to try new things. Okay, just keep it uh, new and fresh by trying new things. And um, it's paired with the magician, so that's what you uh, two will need to do to make it uh, even more exciting or to uh, re-spark re it you know, get it back to life. And uh, you can do that because you, you are the magician at this time. And uh, just make sure you're not stuck on the past or holding on to a past event or past relationship. And that's going to be the outcome. So, Scorpio, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day. And have a great day. And have a great day.